Coach Fieger do a tremendous job of putting guys in great positions, but you know our guys believe in each other, and uh, you know the practice, the deliberate practice that we go through every single day. Uh, you know their guys are gaining confidence. Who doesn't have the green light to shoot a three right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't believe that for a sec. Does Gavin Baxter have the green light to shoot a three? Uh, he's made him in practice. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's got the green light. It might be a little bit more uh, yellow, but uh, <laughs> that first one goes down. Everybody's going to be really excited. At halftime, uh, BYU's up eight, but then goes plus 15 in the second half. Uh, what adjustments were made uh, that went so well in the second half? You know, I think our biggest adjustment was really just to bring a little bit more energy on the defensive end. Uh, you know, our talk improved. Uh, guys uh, continued to work hard uh, at following the scout that, uh, you know, Coach Burgess had, you know, helped put together. And, and uh, you know, the defensive intensity, you know, led to a little bit more uh, offensive energy and uh, more offensive excitement. BYU basketball assistant coach Nick Robinson on BYU Sports Nation. It is a Valentine's Day special. Coach, we're obviously all very concerned about the status of Dalton Nixon after he took an awkward fall uh, late in the game last night. What's the latest on Dalton and his injury recovery? Yeah, so at this point, uh, you know, he's been with uh, Rob uh, Ramos throughout the night, um, icing and getting the treatment. Um, I think he's got an appointment at some point in time this morning. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how he feels, uh, you know, a little bit later on uh, this afternoon when we get over to the gym. Hoping for the best for Dalton. Certainly his impact has been tremendous uh, on this team. Let's talk about, uh, you know, what, what kind of difference he's made, in your opinion, in terms of being kind of that glue guy and a great guy for the culture of the, the whole squad. Yeah, Dalton as a senior, I mean, he's willing to sacrifice you know, his body, he's willing to sacrifice, uh, you know, minutes and uh, role, and he's willing to sacrifice pretty much anything to win. And, uh, you know, that example, that leadership in his own way, uh, you know, his ability to move the basketball, to take tough defensive assignments, to make uh, plays. I mean, we just watched the clip this morning in our staff meeting. He's first to the floor, right? I mean, he loves this game. He loves this team. He loves BYU. And uh, he, he's such a tremendous uh, individual and that uh, makes a huge impact for us where has this team grown and changed the most from game one to now midway through february you know i think each game has presented different challenges uh, but now that we're here in february i mean the team you know has really established a, an identity um you know from you know, game one, right, where we're willing to compete, you know, at the defensive end, you know, work to help each other, and then offensively have fun moving the basketball and see that thing go in from three. But, uh, you know, I think the biggest uh, difference is guys are continuing to get better, right? We continue to get better individually and as a team, which has been a common theme, and Coach Paul's relentless approach to every single day. Yoli Childs becomes uh, the first BYU basketball player ever with 1,900 points and a thousand rebounds how have you seen him grow this season you know i mean what a tremendous uh, you know accomplishment over the course of his time here but you know his growth again has come with his leadership you know has come with you know how he's been a teammate you know his willingness to defend his willingness to you know make some sacrifices for the good of the team and um you know, he just continues to, you know, get better and better. I mean, there's been some times in practice and even in games where we see things, man, did Yoli Childs just do that? Uh, but to also be able to overcome the adversity that he's faced, you know, with the suspension, with the injury, um, you know, he, he's just grown, uh, you know, by leaps and bounds, uh, you know, during the course of this year, like a lot of our guys have. Something that is becoming very apparent about this team is it really doesn't matter who scores or when they score or how they score, but just getting the win. I mean, Yoli Childs had nine points and six rebounds last night. This is a guy that's averaging 21 and nine, but he could care less. And I believe him, Coach, when he says, as long as we win the game, what is it about this team with so many proficient scores and Jake Toulson and TJ Haas and Yoli Childs that makes it an okay thing that, Maybe they don't have a great night scoring the ball or a memorable night, but you just win. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Jake, Yoli, TJ, you know, all of our other guys, they recognize one another's talents. They respect one another's talents. And they really believe in Coach Pope's messaging that, you know, on any, any given night, you know, we've got to get better. 
right? On any given night, you know, one guy or two guys or three guys or six guys, you know, can have a great game. But if we're all willing to sacrifice and continue to get better, right, you know, winning, you know, is going to be the most important thing and it's going to be the most fun thing, uh, you know, for this team, which is really a special team. BYU with Jimmer Fredette and Jackson Emery and company in 2010-11 went to the Sweet 16. That was one of the most memorable BYU teams of all time. We've been discussing, would we rather have that team's offense or this team's? What, in your biased opinion, do you think of that, Nick? <laughs> I, I think we should uh, you know, create an all-star team and just have all you know, 23 guys or 32 guys suit up, <laughs> and uh, we'll combine both offenses. And uh, uh, <laughs> But, uh, no, I mean, overall – you know, I think both teams were extremely dynamic, right, in their own ways. You know, but the thing that's consistent with both teams is both teams, right, knew their roles, right? They accepted their roles, and they supported one another in their roles, which made both teams great. Coach, not surprisingly, as you have more success, there comes more national attention. How do you handle the increased attention as a team? You know, I think as a team, you know, we really try to, uh, you know, focus on, you know, what's the task at hand today, right? And Coach Pope, right, has, you know, has uh, obviously addressed, uh, you know, the attention that, you know, some of the guys are receiving, you know, what we're receiving as a team, you know, and that's great, but it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't need to become a distraction for what we're trying to accomplish today. And, uh, you know, today is the most important day for us, and tomorrow's going to be an extremely tough game, and we've got to really focus on that. Uh, you know, each day. And let's finish with that. It's been almost a month since you played San Diego in the first time, a 93-70 win. Uh, Colby Lee had 21 points, didn't miss a shot. He was awesome. What do you expect in round two a month later? Well, we expect another tough game. I mean, if you remember in the first game, right, San Diego was, I mean, basically even or beating us for the first, you know, 15, 13 minutes of the game. So, you know, we're at their place. We're going to get their best shot. You know, they're a good basketball team. Um, so we're going to have to come out and give a great effort at the defensive end. We're going to have to rebound, and we're going to have to, uh, you know, come out and share the ball and, and play at a high level. So, uh, you know, at no point in time can we, you know, think the game's going to be easy because it just gets tougher from here on out. Nick, we appreciate you waking up early after uh, a late night and a joyous bus ride, I'm sure, to San Diego. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Uh, through the phone line, take it, distribute it to your team, and good luck against the Toreros tomorrow. Hey, thanks. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. All thanks, right. Nick Robinson on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why, we show how.